Man, sometimes I don't know if I want to be in HD. Pimple game going strong today. What's happening, everybody? <clears throat> What's happening, everybody? So, just got back from the gym, and I really wanted to make this video. I was at the gym, and I was thinking, you know, there, what, what are the main things that someone has to know, someone needs to know before they even attempt to start losing weight? So I came up with three things, and I'm gonna save the one that I think is the most important for last. However, let's start with number one. And number one is realizing that what you are about to do is not something that you're just going to do for a few weeks, a few months, and then quit. This is a lifestyle change. You are going to have to work with this for the rest of your life. And it shouldn't seem like something that you should dread. You know, working out, your body deserves to feel good. And we all know that when we go work out, we feel great. I just went and worked out and I feel fantastic. Fantastic. You have to realize that once you lose those 20 pounds, you're not done. You will continue to go to the gym week after week, month after month, and it's a good thing. There's a lot of stuff that I see on Instagram, like, you know, people that are only trying to lose weight for a cruise or a trip or their wedding or a special day. And after they lose a pretty substantial amount of weight, they think they're done. They think they can chill because they don't have to work for it anymore. And then they gain it all back. So that is the one thing that you must realize that before you start trying to lose weight, you gotta be prepared to know that you are making a life decision. This is not a few months, this is not a few weeks. You are doing this for the rest of your life. Fitness will be incorporated into your life to improve it. The second thing that you have to realize before you even start is that if you are trying to lose weight, it does not matter what you do in the gym if your diet is crazy. Weight loss is in the kitchen. You have to be prepared to get on the diet and stay on that diet. Now, like I spoke in my last video, what's the best diet? That's up to you. You're gonna have to choose something that you can do for the rest of your life. So don't think that if you just run five miles a day and do super heavy weight lifting for two hours that you can just go eat burgers and hot dogs and chips and pizza and cake and ice cream and Chinese food. By the way, kind of a funny side note, I found this on my door uh, right when I was coming in and I used to order from this place when I was really, really obese every day practically. So when I saw this on the door, I thought that was hilarious. And then I kind of wanted Chinese food now. So there's that. And then the number one biggest thing that you have to realize before you even start trying to lose weight is that this is a mental game. Weight loss has so much to do with the way that you wake up in the morning and think about how you're about to take on the day. Every time you want to mess up, you're thinking about what you want to do. Your mind will literally try to make you mess up your diet. Your mind will tell you that it's totally okay to go eat that donut. It's totally fine to go order you a pizza. Man, order you some Chinese food is gonna be all right. This is all a mind game. You have to be prepared at the beginning to fight the cravings, to fight the, the wanting to quit, to fight the feelings that you don't really feel like going work out the day. You have to be ready at the beginning to fight all of that because it's going to come. The mental battle is strong. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And hey, if you made it this far, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I'm always putting out new videos that I think can help you guys out. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. 
Guess who's back? Guess who's back?